Hey guys, okay, I guess I'm going to start this again. I cannot believe I did this. I thought I had the camera on. Anyway, I have a break in my schedule. My nieces are at the beach, so I thought I would jump in and do a reading. Look how far I am. <laughs> this is insane. So I'm going to have to try and recap really fast. I do apologize for that. You know, I like to go through the cards as I go. Um, where did I start? I started over here. It looks like somebody here has gained some kind of wisdom. By the way, I wasn't going to do any readings. This actually came up as I was doing yoga today, and I kept feeling like, um, actually, I kept getting that someone needed to, what was the term that was being used? It's almost like someone needed to prevail or someone needed to stay vigilant. That was the word. Someone needed to stay vigilant in what it was that they were doing. So somebody's obviously making some kind of change, it looks like, in their life here. Um, they're cutting a lot of people out, it looks like to me, understanding that they are the master of their destiny. That's actually the first time I've ever seen that card before. I feel like this person's trying to make a lot of changes in their life here, trying to transmute a lot of really nasty, maybe nasty energy, but also transmute maybe some mindset, some concepts that they've always kind of believed to be true from them. Because after they've been seeking a while, I see that they've I, I don't know. I feel like they've uh, obtained some kind of wisdom here. So I do have a person here that's definitely walking away from a situation. Somebody here is definitely putting death to a situation. That is why I feel like I kept hearing stay vigilant because there was definitely something going on where I felt there were people trying to get this person to not do that, to to move away, to walk away. And I think it had to do with something they were invest in, investing in. Okay, so again, as we get through the reading, we're going to see a lot of men here. So I was picking up along the way about someone who um, I felt had invested in something that turned out really bad. And this is what I'm getting here. I do feel this person was faithful to a lot of people, a lot of things that were around them. Um, maybe constantly working, trusting the wrong people here. And unfortunately, I think they found it the hard way, maybe through some kind of messenger. It could have been very, I don't know if they went looking for the information or if it just came up. Okay, I see a messenger here. So I feel like maybe they could have even received some kind of documents here. All right, about what was what was taking place. Um, and this is another reason why they're finally, this is like the last straw is what I'm getting. And the vigilance, when I'm hearing the term uh, to stay vigilant, I think this person has made a break from something here in the past uh, that they feel is just full of drama. Okay, I see misfortune here. I see an enemy. I see a thief. Um, I see haughtiness. So whatever it is, it could have turned this person kind of on their head. Okay. Maybe they didn't see it coming. Maybe, um, maybe at one point, this is a person that could work very hard. They could like the things that they've accumulated. They could like to live a certain way. And suddenly only to find that they had people here that were kind of taken from them. Now, incidentally, I feel like there was some investment here. And I don't know why that is, but I do. Maybe in a home or in some kind of business or something, there could have been some promises of something being quite, you know, fruitful, making someone a wealth, making someone here a wealthy man, actually bring in someone's sudden wealth in their life. But only to find out, like I said, you have the thief here, the misfortune. Okay, there's an enemy in the house. So instead of doing that, it looks to me like something actually left someone in poverty. All right, so this person found out the hard way. Like I said, they were served some papers or maybe they saw some things online or maybe they just checked their checking account. I don't really know what happened here. They lost a lot of money is what I feel. So we have someone over here that's very, very concerned about this. And I feel like they're angry about it too, but this person is wanting to make a change in their life because they're recognizing that whoever or whatever this is that they've been spending so much time in, and it looks like time in without some kind of reward, this is actually around some, this is actually around working, okay? Tolling labor is definitely something where we're, it's not just about occupation. Um, this is about something that we've worked very, very hard on. Um, and we don't feel like we're getting any reward. Honestly, it's not even rewarding work anymore, okay? It's just something someone does every day. So somebody has kind of had to fall into, 
I feel like someone here is, has fallen into, I don't know, just kind of a, a malaise when it comes to their work. They're not happy about it. Um, they feel like they put a lot of time and effort into it. But again, there's no reward for what they're doing. I think they did look for another way to make some kind of money and it blew up in their face. Okay. Maybe someone talked to them about investing. So they did that and then they ended up losing their ass on it. The thing about this is I feel like this person with the transmutation card here has, is surrounded by a lot of negative events for some reason. So maybe, I don't know if it's due to their own decisions or the people they're surrounded around or anything like this, but I do feel there's something legal that is going on at this moment. So they may be holding people accountable or trying to hold people accountable. This person could have knowledge of some stuff that was done here. Yeah, that was done. I don't know that that actually took them to this place where they lost their money. I feel like somebody's fighting it and somebody here is very concerned about this. Needless to say, whoever this person is, I feel like they're changing everything. They want to change everything in their life. Their bad luck, their, you know what I'm saying? The people around them, the negativity, the drama. I feel like I have someone here that's trying to cut anything loose, okay? That is, there are no strings attached here. They're really trying to cut anyone out that is really bringing a lot of drama and bad juju, in a sense, to their life here. So this could be a person here that is, they could be studying something new is what I'm feeling. Um, they're definitely taking the approach, although I feel like they're upset and pursuing this. I think in some kind of, uh, it definitely looks like in some kind of court of law or something. I think they're taking the approach here that they want to have peace in their life. They want to have a, a certain amount of tranquility. They don't have that. This is almost unbearable at this point, right? So this person may actually, they could be a very talented person, number one. They could be looking into different professions. They could be actually studying different things that they're trying to get into. Again, I feel like this is a very talented person here. I think they're they're living, it's kind of this living and learning thing, right? They're learning from their past mistakes here. Whatever happened here could have made this person feel very ill as well, very sick here as well. Okay. So this could be a this could definitely be a sweetheart that I'm talking about here, or maybe this person here could be approaching a sweetheart. I don't really know. This seems to be someone here who people did look up to or maybe do look up to here. This could be a person that's just full of unconditional love in a sense. They don't mind having a challenge, okay? I do think this person is very focused on, on just persevering through this, okay? They've been through a tough time already. This is where a lot of their focus is. This is someone who's definitely turned a corner because where they've been kind of just kind of going with the flow is what I feel. Maybe working a pretty mundane job that they didn't like, that they didn't get the respect that they deserved. Um, being around people who were shady, it, it appears, okay? Maybe even stealing from them in a sense, one way or the other. They now understand that they can change all this. That the, if they want the change, they have to make the changes internally, but also by cutting all of these bad people or these bad, yeah, I think bad people and possibly even a job out that was holding them back. But I think this person has bad people around them. Now I see one, two, and one, two, three, four men here. So this may be something around work or some kind of investment in a business. Could just be the people around them as well this person is ready though they're ready for some kind of change they're really getting prepared they feel something about this sweetheart let me see what this is about all right spirit tell me more about this so we have someone who's leveling up in a big way here yeah four cups here six of pentacles yeah, this is a person leveling up in a big way. I feel like they have people trying to drag them back in. I don't know why. Maybe they don't want them to, to I don't know if this person is suing someone um, or they're testifying or something like that, but whatever it is, I feel like that other people are trying to pull them back in, like you don't want to do this or why don't you just come back? Things will be different, something like that. But this person's not accepting that. 
They don't care who's handing it to them. I feel like they feel like they're very indifferent about this situation right now. Definitely unfulfilled with what has went down here. They felt like maybe they could have been given quite a bit. Yeah, they could have been given quite a bit here, but someone else here was not... Well, they weren't giving back. They were actually just taking is what I'm feeling here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. The Knight of Wands here. Maybe this person is also, as they have went through some of these changes here, they could be thinking about someone else here who maybe offered them something here in the past is what I'm getting. But they didn't take because you see the hand of God coming out with this cup of something. I'm going to assume it's love or something like that. And they're just looking down. And it may have been because they were going through some of this other stuff, some of these changes, trying to figure out their life. Honestly, it looks to me like maybe they, they were ensconced in negativity and not just negative thoughts. Like these are really negative experiences around this person here. And so they could have also had someone here in the past that were offering them something, trying to give to them actually generously, but maybe they were non-accepting of that. They couldn't see it. That's what I feel. I feel like they couldn't even see it. Yeah, Queen of Swords here. So it could have been a Queen of Swords here. But this also tells me that somebody here is kind of getting, They, I feel like somebody here... Yeah, I just feel like somebody here might be rushing, or I don't know if they're rushing towards someone here. I feel like someone here may be trying to get their courage or something to move forward here. This is a person that's definitely gained some kind of independence. Look, there's the Justice card. Gained some kind of independence here. I do think they're wrapping up something here. I definitely believe that legally, okay? Uh, this is somebody that wants, they, they feel like they're owed something. That's what I feel. I think that they want to have some kind of fairness in a situation, some kind of justice here. Yeah. Yeah, things are actually moving fast in this person's life. So this is why they're saying to stay vigilant. The thing about it is that sometimes when people have been wrapped up in something for a long time, it can be a lengthy process to kind of break this. You know what I'm saying? And this is a really, I feel like I'm dealing with a very strong, honestly, I feel like it might be a masculine here. Maybe a masculine here that is is trying to wrap some stuff off and go on their own journey here. They definitely are. They're wanting to have some kind of new start here in their own life, okay? Yeah, I definitely feel like this person has gotten some kind of mental, uh, mental clarity on the people that have been around them, but also on just the truth, on what the truth is for them and in their life and... Maybe even why, I'm, I'm going to view this not on just a 3D level. I really view this as much higher with Master of Destiny here, okay? This is a person that's definitely evolved a lot or they're trying to. I think that they have, they've gained, like I said, some kind of wisdom here from their own seeking. This could actually be someone here, especially with the transmuting card. This could be someone who's been doing healing work, okay? Or has been seeking guidance or... um now, I feel like they've been doing some healing on their own, so they could also be someone who does some sort of meditation here. I think they will get their justice here because these cards are actually upright here. So this could actually be a person who is generally, or if not, they are today, okay? They, they are an honest person. They're a fair person. They could be someone who has clear boundaries. They could be someone in the legal system as well here. So in the legal system, I mean, in the profession, perhaps something to do with legal, maybe a judge, a lawyer. Um, God, they see a lot of stuff, right? It could be um, it could be a cop. It could be anything like that. You could have someone that's definitely in a position of authority, this is a really logical person is what I'm feeling here. Yeah, look at this. I cannot believe these cards, the way they're coming out. Somebody here has had some kind of breakthrough here. They've seen the truth of something. That is the wisdom that they've gained from all of this. They can see kind of the smoke and mirrors that surround them and how their life has not been serving them and how they're kind of surrounded with people that have just been taken from them. 
All right, people that they were loyal to, they've had a lot of enemies in the camp here, and I feel like that's created a lot of misfortune within their own life. So they're seeing that now. Okay, this, they have this new awareness here, and that's helping them to really surrender, I think, what's no longer serving them. Hmm. Okay, so what is this? What is this sweetheart here? So they might have some men. I wonder if they're going against some men, or these are people, co workers, or I don't know, something like this. So the sweetheart is about, so they could have had someone in their life at a time when they were very distracted. Okay, this person could have been very hasty at this time as well. Look at this. Yeah, very self-limiting kind of beliefs, okay, um, that they didn't take a cut from. That's what I'm feeling here. This person is finding that they have, and this is somebody who they care for, okay? I don't know if they've had some kind of emotional awakening or something like this. This person is definitely feeling like they have deeper feelings, for someone than maybe they knew in the past. Yeah, this has been a person they've been away from for a while. This is why we see perseverance and readiness. If you look at this, perseverance is all about someone here wanting to resolve something, okay? And the readiness is about something. You can see them. They're on their knee, ready, set, go, right? They're ready to bust a move here is what it looks like. So we have someone here who they've cared about, but they've kept their distance from. This has been a person that's been working really hard. Um, maybe they've wanted, maybe they've taken a lot of time here to clean up some things that were going on in their life as well. Mm -hmm. But they've made some kind of final decision now. You know, this person's definitely had a wake up call. I think even with everything that's went on around them, we can also look at this as a bit of judgment as well. They had to go through this, right, to see the people that are around them that they were committed to and the things that they were actually doing perhaps behind the scenes. All right, sometimes the people that we are so committed to, even the, the occupation, and I've been through this, that we're committed to, right, feeling, especially if you're in some kind of management or something, feeling like you're responsible for, like for other people or something along those lines here. That's kind of what I'm getting. So I don't know if they were just so committed to it, but maybe there could have also been an expectation in terms of that as well. Like if something's been carried down, you know, or their family, you know, say that they have, I'm so sorry, the dogs upstairs are running like mad, trying to come down the stairs so it can get a bit loud. So this could actually be like a family, like if, if they're in a family or, you know, sometimes your family just expects you to do a certain thing um, or live a certain way or something along those lines. And we have someone here that's trying to really venture out onto their own here, trying to find their own way, their own path, because whatever they've been doing, they don't feel like it's been working. It certainly has not been making them happy is what I feel. So they had to kind of figure this out for their own. And they also had to see the people that are around them are, are not good. Okay. Yeah. Got the sun card here. So you got a lot of good cards here. This person could be generally a happy person, honestly, a positive person. I think this could be a person that's been really bogged down with a lot of the stuff that's been going on around them. So they're kind of chasing this this happiness again, the sunshine, right? This truth again, because they don't want to be associated with this. We have the three of pentacles here. So they may, this might be a person here that wants to move towards someone here that they feel they could collaborate with. Maybe they want to pull, you know, the, the energy, pull the energy, like two of them kind of working together, working on kind of a common goal here. This could be, and intuitive here that they find very compassionate and warm, okay, a healer even, um, somebody who's definitely in the flow. Again, we have a person here trying to be in the flow, right? So maybe that's exactly what it is. Maybe they're trying to learn from this person as well, or they feel like they would be a good team with this person. So this person, and this could have been an issue in the past, whoever they're moving towards here, they could have felt like 
obviously they had a lot of they they're going to come with some kind. I feel like there's a lot of regret here, but they're coming with some kind of even confession here about making amends for some kind of wrongdoing here. So there could be secrets surrounding whatever this situation is. I don't know what the secret's about. Maybe it's about what they've been through. Maybe it's about why uh, they were the way that they were. Maybe during the course of the, the last interaction, something along those ideas here. I also feel like this person was being, you know, sometimes when we have a lot of weight on us, we can feel exhausted. We feel like we can't think straight. We lack motivation in the sense that like we can get up and go do things every day, just kind of um, going through the motions, but I really feel like this person, this person felt like they were out of energy or like they were lacking motivation in some sense here. They just, they were just so distracted with everything I feel like that was going on here. I definitely know that everything's come to a head in this person's life. I'm wondering if it's been years since you've even been around them because I, there's a lot of changes I feel like that are happening and as a result of them. Okay. But they had to have kind of this breakdown of sorts. Okay. So that they could have the breakthrough. So what I'm seeing here is someone here who could have also felt like they weren't up to, to par with you, to be honest. You know, you've heard of imposter syndrome. Okay. Maybe they felt that way. Maybe they felt like they were not on your level before. It could have felt like in, in some sense, maybe you were even too good for them. You guys could be from completely different backgrounds. We see that over here. We also saw that this person had very self-limited beliefs before. Yeah, but they do feel like something about your connection was meant to be. It was faded in some way, regardless of what way that is. This person does have love for you. You know, there's new emotions. I don't know if this is in a romantic sense or if this is just someone who feels very bound to you in some sense or bound to you in a good way, okay, um, where they feel like, you know, like you're part of their soul family perhaps, yeah. And I think they're looking to... To have a new start with you, but this is like ignited passion here, but also new opportunities, new growth here. Very interesting. I don't know why. So they definitely feel like you're some part of their soul family here and they could have something, something good with you, like build a dynasty. Okay. Some kind of, yeah, I, I just feel like building some kind of dynasty together here. Some kind of long-term success here. So this is really interesting. If I had to summarize, and it's interesting that I was getting that someone needed to stay vigilant because I do think this person's been attached to something a long time that maybe, although they've walked away, I feel, and they're cutting people out, people could still be trying to get them to, no, come back, we can make it right, that sort of thing. Um, and it's, it may be, it can be a little enticing if they're not moving forward. So that's why spirit was like, look, stay vigilant. Okay. You need to stay vigilant. You need to keep moving forward. You, you're, you know, basically you're cutting away a lot of things that have been just holding you back from what we have for you. That's what I feel here. Okay. That's the dead end road, so to speak. We know that's what you know, but that's the dead end road here. All right. So you have someone really that has had someone that they've met. And I feel like it could have been years ago that has kind of been a guiding force, I feel like, in their life, even though they may not have been able to do whatever, you know, accept a cup or whatever this person was offering at the time due to their own limitations here. We now have someone who wants to revisit that. And they're actually seeing the connection. I feel like for what it is, that's what it is. So it's almost like a don't get drugged back into this. You've come so far. Okay. So you may, if this is you, that someone is, if you're this queen of cups energy, you definitely may have someone here that's wrapping up something, even legally, that's, that's trying to come forward here that has really been working a lot on themselves and cleaning up their act. I mean, I don't know any other way to say it, <laughs> cleaning up their act, whatever their act was, maybe it was their thought process or just the, the negative people forces around you. Yeah. Getting themselves together again. I think you, so you're the intuitive here. So you've been kind of a driving force here and helping this person. I feel like to heal, whether you have known that or not, let me see if we can get a few more of these. 24 minutes. 
By the way, guys, I somebody had recommended that I do um, past life readings, and I usually only do those when I'm doing healing sessions, and I don't even intend to do it. It's just the, it's what comes up during my intuitive hits when I'm doing healing on other people. But I did, because this was a request, look into some decks. I only saw two decks out there. Okay, they're very limited, but I did get one. So let me know. And we're just going to have to play it by ear. But I have one called Uncover Your Past Lives Oracle. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. And I'll be happy to venture into those a little bit more and see what we can get. All right, Spirit, what else do we have for the collective? Oh, wow. Okay, well, I have a few that flip. Love Spell. Okay, Love Spell. You've been bewitched. Interesting. And then we have pregnancy as well. So there may be some kind of, <laughs> wow. This is interesting because we did see the Ace of Cups here. So I don't know if someone feels like someone has put them under a spell or like they feel like they're just, you know, bewitched by somebody. Can't think about anyone different here. Someone could definitely be pregnant or maybe will be getting pregnant. We do have, wow, a lot of intimacy as well. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or that could be you. And a confession. Someone has something to tell you here. So we do have communicate, compromise, forgive, and work it out. And then we also have a, a past over loved one or a guardian here who watches over. It may actually be a driving force with this particular situation here. So... Yeah, I think the clearer that someone has gotten here, the more they're understanding kind of who's been in their corner here in the direction that they are, are wanting to go in. That's what I get here. All right, whatever you decide to do with it, that's what the messages are today, guys. So hopefully it will resonate with some of you. If it does, don't forget to hit the like button. I'll see you guys very soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.